and not moving at all. I want to see what's over here before I check that out. And unfortunately I don't have the silent wool yet. more levels and I'll be able to get that. Oh, does this circle back around to where I came in? It does. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I'm good to um, stand and see what right now. Hey, hello to my two new viewers. Welcome to the Uncanny Stream. My name is Eric. And right now, we are playing some Skyrim Special Edition. And this is the Archer's Dozen Challenge Run. So basically, I am using a stealth stealth archery character. A wood elf named Naren. But uh, the caveat is I can only carry 12 arrows at any given time. That is the limit that I have imposed on myself. Someone there? Another arrow on this guy. There we go. And uh, at the moment, I am just working on the first group of assassinations for the Dark Brotherhood. But I have taken a brief detour here just to clear out this dungeon, which is Uttering Hills Cave. Unlock this chest. Close. Not quite so far, I think. A little farther than that. And just a bit more. Oh, so close. Let's try right there. There we go. need soul gems. Might need that though. So my primary skills on this character are obviously archery and sneak. I think I will be using just a bit in one-handed to help my uh, melee sneak attacks. But uh, I think I will also end up using some smithing as well. somewhere. Oh, these are just cells. Alright. Okay. So I guess I do need to go this way. <coughs> shoot this guy, since he is asleep. Don't want to waste the arrows. And 
and at the moment I'm using um, double attacks, dual wielding attacks. Uh, basically just to increase... Ooh, that, that's useful. Just to increase my damage output weak in terms of... Base damage. Um, I was going to show you guys something, but I don't remember what it is. Oh yeah. Uh, and I, I also don't have any perks in one-handed as of yet. So uh, basically using two daggers is just an easy way to double my damage output and make sure that I kill them with one one hit. Uh oh. Not sure why I didn't get a sneak attack there. See what we've got in here. Nothing that I need. It's a skill book, though. Iron dagger. I suppose I should grab her her axe so I can sell it. Probably these two. Looks like we're done here. Also seems like I will need to backtrack in order to leave. <coughs> but that's not a big deal. Since this path over here actually circles back to the beginning. And the extremely choppy player movement you're seeing is, or at least that you may be seeing, is due to my controller being partially broken, apparently. Basically, it isn't, the left stick isn't responding how it should. And it's uh, treating, the game is treating it as if I don't have the stick pressed all the way forward. Which is causing me to move very slowly. Which is quite annoying, but I'll deal with it. So, like I said, we're working on Dark Brotherhood assassinations. At the moment, I am heading to the village of Iverstead in order to kill Narfi. Scouting the area here. This is actually a silver hand 
encampment which you will recognize if you have completed um, I think the quest is called joining the circle for the companions Ooh, he's stuck gotcha oh there's someone else on the oh he's right behind us and he got stuck in the same spot. Right, that takes care of them. And uh, the Silver Hand are basically vampire, hu not vampire hunters, uh, werewolf hunters. So naturally they are at odds with the companions, several of whom are werewolves. Ah, what have we here? It's like a secret little shrine of Talos. A heavy armor skill book. Some nice loot here. Uh, activate that. Don't think I have any diseases, but just to make sure. Yeah, it's a neat little unmarked location there. I just want to discover this giant camp on here. But uh, I always thought it was a little strange that you couldn't, or a, a missed opportunity in a way on Bethesda's part, for not allowing you to help the Silver Hand and join them, and even if they weren't a, a proper faction, like the College of Winterhold, or the Companions, or the Dark Brotherhood are. Still would have been a, a nice touch, I think, if you could uh, participate in that conflict from the other side. Um, circle around this way find a spot to cross this river, which will, oh, um, oh he's got a lot of help, bit of a surprise when I got back from work earlier. Pretty intense construction going on directly in front of my house. <laughs> They're basically in my yard doing something with the sewer drains. Uh, in the sidewalk. I'm not gonna do anything here for now. But, uh, luckily I was still able to uh, pull into the driveway instead of having to park the car on the street. But, uh, hopefully they will be done with whatever it is they're doing pretty soon. <laughs> 